Our goal, and my goal, Seven Bucks goal, and the studio's goal too as well, and our goal is to usher in a new era of the DC Universe. What does that mean? Well, now it means it ain't happening, Dwayne. After raking in an underwhelming $167 million domestically and a worldwide total of $391 million, it already seemed as though Dwayne Johnson had lost his enthusiasm for playing the DC superhero because he did nothing to promote the streaming release on HBO Max last week. I kneel before no one. On Tuesday, Dwayne revealed he is the latest actor joining the unemployment line in the least surprising move by the new heads of the DC Universe. So Dwayne wrote on Instagram, James Gunn and I connected and Black Adam will not be in their first chapter of storytelling. However, DC and Seven Bucks have agreed to continue exploring the most valuable ways Black Adam can be utilized in future DC multiverse chapters. James and I have known each other for years and have always rooted for each other to succeed. It's no different now. I will always root for DC and Marvel to win and win big. These decisions made by James and DC leadership represent their vision of DCU through their creative lens. Dwayne goes on to say he's proud of the film and thanks to fans. And as I worked on this piece, Dwayne just happened to post this motivational speech on Instagram. When I say it's all noise, it's always all noise. Let them talk shit. Because at the end of the day, the haters, the ones who talk shit, first of all, their view is always the same. They're way behind talking shit to you, who's leading the pack, or they're way below talking shit up to you. Again, who's leading the pack. So let them all talk shit. Let them all make their noise because at the end of the day, you are the only one who has the guts. We have the guts to go to work and show up every single day, day in and day out, putting in the work. I know Dwayne says they're going to keep exploring options, but come on, come on. Now, after that, James Gunn has taken to social media to address the criticism and outrage that has come at him over the cancellation of Wonder Woman 3 and reneging on bringing Henry Cavill back as Superman. Our choices for the DCU are based upon what we believe is best for the story and best for the DC characters who've been around for nearly 85 years. Perhaps these choices are great, perhaps not, but they're made with sincere hearts and integrity and always with the story in mind. No one loves to be harassed or called names, but to be frank, we've been through significantly worse. Disrespectful outcry will never ever affect our actions. We were aware there'd be a period of turbulence when we took this gig, and we knew we would sometimes have to make difficult and not so obvious choices, especially in the wake of the fractitious nature of what came before us. But this means little to us in comparison to our jobs as artists and custodians in helping to create a wide and wonderful future for DC. Now there was something else that James wrote that made me wonder. Now as the comments started to pour in, someone protested booting Henry and Gal Gadot. James responded to that individual writing, I'm not sure where you're getting that we booted Gal. And yeah, to be clear, well, Henry said he's out as Superman and James Gunn confirmed that. No one has said that Gal is out as Wonder Woman. They've said that Wonder Woman 3 is cancelled or shelved, the film itself, but no one has specifically said that Gal is no longer going to be playing Wonder Woman and James clearly wants to make that very apparent. But yeah, after the Wonder Woman and Henry news, the news about Black Adam is no big surprise because the film underwhelmed both critically and financially. The only thing that really could have kept it alive was Dwayne's overall stature in Hollywood, but clearly nothing is safe in the DC Universe. It tells you what a mess DC is when that clip of Dwayne at Comic-Con is only six months ago. And he's talking about the new you know, vision, the future going forward for DC. What does it mean to build out the DC Universe with the Justice Society uh, as well too? So, yeah. Now six months later, it's someone else's vision for DC. Now what I found interesting is who commented on James Gunn's post. Zachary Levi was one, and that's not a big surprise. He already shot down rumors that he's out of Shazam, so it makes sense that he would want to praise his new boss. Matthew Lillard wrote, this is how you lead. The DC future is bright, but he's good friends with James. But then there's two actors who seemingly have nothing to do with DC or James at this point. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't, maybe there's a connection there. But they commented praising James. First one, Michael B. Jordan added his applause to the comment section. His name has been tossed around as a possible Superman. But I found it very interesting that Michael Jordan would be overtly showing his praise for James Gunn when this is a divisive issue, right? That Because some people are losing their jobs. And so I would think that actors might want to, you know, reserve kind of seemingly choosing a side in this. Well, Michael B. Jordan had no problem showing his applause for James Gunn. Hmm. Same goes for Henry Golding, who wrote the man in the arena with the punch and heart emojis. I just found those comments very interesting. Makes me think that maybe some casting has already been done for this new DC Universe. Am I reading too much into it? Let me know. And are you surprised that Dwayne is pretty much out as Black Adam?